Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. Episode 21 is all about planning concrete and getting our oil refinery and stuff planned. We've got a lot of stuff to do. And, uh, you know, the weather's going to clear up and hopefully allow us to do it. Huh? It's March 24th, 1968. Yikes. We're getting up there, aren't we? We're getting almost to the 70s. And uh, I uh, real recap on what I've kind of put in place here. The only thing I've really done is place this pipe. So I noticed that these houses were kind of getting full of sewage. And it has to do with this sewage tank, which, of course, the truck can get. But um, there's only one sewage truck in this entire republic. And so, like, I could get more. I just don't want to yet. And uh, so I'm, what I'm going to do is, um, <clears throat> sensibly enough, put in some plumbing underground all the way out. And unfortunately, I didn't really plan ahead too much for an expansion here. So I didn't have any switches that are nearby. So I had to run this all the way out to the switch that's over here. Unfortunately, um, I do have, of course, the extra switches that are connected over here because I'm going to tap into this for this little neighborhood that we're going to have later on. Uh, but this neighborhood is it's kind of far away. Okay. We're not going to plan this yet. Because I need better houses before I do, okay? So let me talk about research real quick, and then we're going to get to going with concrete. We got the refinery project here. It's at 77%. They're working on it. Pause. Hello. How are you? Let's take a quick trip to the border. Tunnel boring machine. All right. So, uh, I thought this thing was a little further away, but... A tunnel boring machine. So, you remember how we bought the EDK 300 a long, long time ago for 35 grand, right? This thing just keeps getting more expensive every year, right? Well, here's the thing. A tunnel boring machine is going to do the same thing. It's going to get expensive real quick. It, it goes fast. Like, by 1980, this thing is going to be over $3 million to buy. And I think it's in track builders. Yeah. Uh, it starts at 412. Okay, so... I like how it has different designs. That's cool. But what I like is the different uh, different price is what I'd like. 510 tons of weight. Good Lord. That's got to be the heaviest thing in the game, isn't it? I'd love to, love to scrap one of these. That'd be amazing to scrap one of these things. It would cost a lot, though. So maybe we'll keep an eye out for some used tunnel boring machines later. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I don't think I can afford 412. That would have been nice to have, though. All right. We'll keep an eye on it. Maybe if it's possible, we'll do it. But yeah, I don't think so. We have a couple of things that I'd like to, to plan. While we're waiting for the research on the refinery project and for the research on logistic optimization, which doesn't even get me my distribution office. No, I need a research after that in order to get that. Here we go. Right here. I need this. And then I need this one. Which is nuts. And then the rail distribution office, which that makes sense. But this one is... Oh, God, I can't believe it's so many days away. So definitely should have done this building first. <laughs> anyway, um, while we're waiting for those things, I want to talk about concrete, right? Now, if we take a look at our budget, I'm willing to bet this here is probably not that way. But our budget is going to show good money, all right? We got, you know, I, I bought the, the harvesters and stuff last month in February. So we had a little bit of a dip. But... Without buying steel, without buying mechanical components, without buying all those expensive things, we get a pretty good budget, all right? So our import list, if we take a look at it, we still have coal and coal ore being imported. Let me fix that really quick. I'm pretty sure you guys are attached to these buildings if you're doing it. Yeah, so you're doing nothing at the moment, but what were you doing before? You know what? Let's just cancel that route. All right, you're just you're just not doing that but not. And then the coal ore, if we're buying it, we're dropping it off here probably. So we're going to say that you're here and you have coal ore on you. Okay. So I'm going to have you real quick go to let's say this depot. <clears throat> you're going to go there and do nothing once you're unloaded. That'll stop our coal buying cuz we don't need to buy it anymore, all right? All right. Here's what we need to do. We need to plan concrete because concrete's the last remaining resource that we're getting directly from the border, uh, aside from like purchasing steel, right, and prefab panels. But like the concrete with the the vehicles being up here, okay. So our vehicles, right, our concrete vehicles, they have to get it from here. We can't 
take vehicles and ship it down somewhere else to be accessible by uh, construction crews, you have to get concrete from the source. You can't store it. So that's why all these uh, cement trucks are down here. So we're going to place concrete here. And we need to do so in a way that allows us to do two things. It needs to allow us to also send the cement to prefab production, which I don't have prefab production. We're going to do that next. Okay, next research is going to be concrete study. Then we're going to follow that up with prefabs and then durable prefabs. And that's going to allow us to buy uh, or to, to build better housing because our housing is maxed out. I've, I've got everybody in here and we're going to start getting, you know, adults living with their parents pretty soon. We already have one. One lowly 21-year-old without his own flat. All right? So, we don't want our republic to be full of losers. <laughs> Move out. Get at your own place. All right? Slackers. Anyway, uh, what I'd like to do is get started building this. So, we're going to say here and here and here and here. Now, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, we had uh, too many construction projects. You remember the good old days where we just had everything out there and... Well, we don't have that anymore, right? Our construction offices are a little bit more mild in their lists. And uh, the cool thing about being mild in your list is that we really just need workers for these. Because before, we actually delivered resources. So all the resources are already dropped off here and ready to go, which is pretty cool. Except for this. So they can do this with concrete, right? So we need to store the concrete. Uh, sorry, store the cement to make the concrete, and we also need access to gravel. And that's what this is for. This is our gravel storage that we're going to use that's dedicated to concrete production and prefab production that does not uh, take up, you know, it doesn't take the, the gravel that we have for everything else, okay? Which, I mean, to be fair, the gravel for everything else is mo mostly just like trucks grabbing it a lot of times, but uh, I don't want to take it from asphalt, etc. So here is what I'd like to do. We're going to look at getting storage for here. So there's a lots of different bulk storages and stuff. And uh, more buildings have been added in this update than I have access to before. This is the one I had before. M my main issue with this one is that it, it's honestly, it's a really good building. It has a really good shape to it. I like the footprint on it, um, but it's 62 tons of steel, 223 tons of concrete it's an expensive thing for like just storage now this one up here is only 40 tons of steel and it holds a little bit less um, okay it holds a lot of it less okay but i don't think we're really going to need a whole lot of cement in bulk storage at least not in the beginning and if we end up needing it we have another out we could put over here we can expand storage wherever we want it for any other purpose we want it, like for trains or whatever. So, like, we can leave that one open and try to give ourselves enough room to get it out of here. And then if we need more storage, we'll just do that. But for the purposes of making concrete, which is an intermittent thing, you don't need it all the time. And for prefab panels, which we're going to make really quickly and not use that quickly. So, I think this little storage is probably fine. Um, and then it provides us that nice buffer. So, what I have to do with this, though, is I'm going to have to get this in such a way that... It is going to allow me to connect to the right one. So I'm hoping it's going to be that one. Yep. And then from there, let's say right about here should be good-ish. If I store it here and send the, send the cement to this side, what I want to do is use the factory connection with the, the concrete plant. <clears throat> All right. I don't want to use the, the, the conveyor or whatever. Right? I want to use the factory connection for this because... We're going to be using the fa the conveyor, the dry bulk cargo conveyor or whatever. We're going to be using that with prefab production, which is scheduled to be put in right over here. All right. Now, where I position this is actually really important because if I position this too far away, we won't get the bus stop. So you see the bus stop went away. And right there, we can walk here from the bus stop. Now, I don't need to go all this far down, in fact, because I'd like to have this road come out here, too, from the from the roundabout. So I'm going to try to get stuff really close by here, I think. Try to get uh, a little bit closer and maybe even pull it back a tad just so that I have, like, room for vehicles to queue up later. Uh, and I think if I can somehow get this... Yeah, like that, right there. I think I like this. We get ourselves close, but not too close. 
My only concern is, what about the water? It's just an underground pipe, right? And I have to wonder whether or not that bulk cargo is going to be in the way, too. Yeah, let's pull this back a little bit. Give ourselves a little bit more room. I'm thinking, like, maybe here could work. Maybe, and maybe right here could work. All right, we'll place it right there. And uh, this factory connection will just go like so. All right. So that's going to take care of the plans anyway for concrete. And um, we're going to get cement in there. So we need the dry bolt cargo. And we need you to go into here. Now, we could also go here too. It kind of depends on how we want to do this. Um, because we need to also get gravel into this building. Okay. And the gravel input for this building is located back here. So this needs to go into here. Now, obviously, it doesn't do it straight up, although I was kind of hoping it would. It must be the angle is just a little bit too extreme for that. So we're going to need to have one of these. And that's not a big deal. It's, it's really not that big of a deal. Unless, of course, that belt gets in the way of concrete. So uh, let's take the dry bulk first. And we're going to try to go from this one over to this one first with the plans to see how that works. Then we can take our conveyor engine and we're going to take and say maybe it goes right about uh, right about, oh, there. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. So go underneath it if you can, over top of it, whatever. But just get it in there, okay? And we also need this to be out of the way of this here, too. This right here is going that way. So I need to get out of the way of that, too. So there's a little bit of a like a tie in your shoe kind of thing right here. Go. We're making a knot with conveyor belts here, but I think we can maybe get away with it by brazing this up would probably be even more aesthetically pleasing, even though it's a little bit more expensive. Uh, but I mean, I'm okay with the expense as long as we can get the other one out. So, uh, so that goes, see how that goes through it. I don't like how it goes through it underneath. It is fine with me, but not through it. Just, I mean, it'll work, but I, I like the look of it. All right. I, I care about the look of it here. So I think this one would be okay. Is that going through it or under it? It's going... I mean, it's... It's kind of going through it, isn't it? A little hard to tell, but I think that's going through it. So real quick again. We'll spend a little extra resources, but I'm going to raise this up so that it looks good. And then we'll end up having this thing go... Uh, actually, I want that bottom to be very low. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. And I'm looking for it to be... I think I'm, I can live with this. I think I can live with that. It goes just over top of it. Yeah, that, that doesn't clip. That's good. All right. So that's going to be our setup. There we go. That's our setup to get cement into here. This cement then goes into concrete to create it. The cement is also going to need to go this direction over top of that belt in this direction so that it can uh, serve the prefab panels and stuff over here. And we can put this really far away. Dry bulk is really nice. And it's usually very easy to get, a get it around places. So I like this a lot. So we'll be doing that too. And uh, we can put this kind of anywhere. They space themselves out really well, These the, the posts and the stanchions and stuff. So at least I know I can get them out, and that's good. So we'll leave that alone. Now, I want to get a road that comes. And we can try to just gravel for now, I guess. I want to get a road that comes out this way. Before I do that... Uh, also, let's let the clothes truck do its thing again. Before I do that, remember concrete was a big bottleneck with our helicopter construction office that we had before. Helicopter construction office, right? Very good. We, we, we want that. Uh, probably the longer I wait, the longer, the more expensive the helicopters will be. But until I'm making my own fuel, I don't want to have helicopters, right? So I want to say that we are going to go to here. And we want three, three heliports. Now, this makes it a little bit tricky because this has to get in here. But I also don't want it to get in the way of prefab in the future. I feel like right here is as close as I could possibly get it. 
So I'm going to say maybe we go just a little bit more. All right. That'll be where the helicopters pick up the concrete. All right. So if that's the case, then this road can come in straight like this. I can even go a little bit further this way if I wanted to. Maybe from this side. I could go up from here and then into prefab factory, wherever it is. So we got options there, all right? Good. I like options. Options are nice. Here's what I want to do also. Let's go ahead and make this... Let's go ahead and make this segment asphalt before we start connecting stuff to it, all right? So we'll get that queued up too. So the research just finished. You may have seen that. We're going to go over to the study on concrete and have that be the next research. We got loads more professors now. Research can go a lot faster, all right? My population is now 15% higher education, and we are still continuing our efforts to get everyone a quality education, if we can, so that they can go off and be more productive members of our society. Mm -hmm. We're going to get that going, and I think this little dirt stretch here should probably get going, too. So I'm going to mark this. Oh, that's a lot of different projects, isn't it? Uh, well, you know, I mean... We'll mark that. And no deconstructions allowed for now. You know what? I, could, I probably should have made this whole thing one segment, shouldn't I? Because I don't need this road anymore. I don't need this road anymore. Oh, and the other thing I don't need is this. <laughs> don't worry. We're going to rebuild it. But it's not going to go there. All right? Uh, it's just... It's in, a, it's in the way of something else I want, basically. So we're going we're gonna to hold off on that, too. Uh, so let me just get this road taken care of. And we could pull that back. Yeah, good. This road doesn't need to exist at all. All of that can go because this is already connected. It, when we originally built, made that road, when we originally made that road, it, it didn't matter. Um, but, I mean, because this was this stuff wasn't built yet. It was queued, but it wasn't made yet. Uh, so I made this extra road here. But now we don't need that. <clears throat> so with this whole segment now being a single road, probably should have done that before. We'll go ahead and make that a uh, asphalt road as well so get those two projects added to your queue as well okay all right so with all that stuff done concrete is planned i can't lay out where prefab panels are going to go i can't tell this game where that is uh, because until you have the research you can't even plan to put the plans in for the building yet which is why I haven't done anything with oil yet, because you can't actually place the plans for it until you have... Oh, I need to figure out why this thing still has prefab panels in it. It just... It's like we just never bring it to where it needs to go. You, truck, come over here and get this. Grab these prefab panels, please. All right, just grab these. Wait till loaded. Come over here and unload them, please. There you go. Just do that. I need to get this thing out of here. I'd like to clean this whole area up here because we're going to start looking at where my rail plans are soon, too. Speaking of rail plans, it's been seven years that we've been trying to build this rail. Maybe it's been six. I actually don't know. But Track Builder has decided he doesn't want to do this one. Even though this is the high priority, he would rather automatically start this one instead. So that's what he's doing all the way to the border and you know that's fine it's still a train that goes in a direction right it's it's not going to be a big deal it's still going to do what we need to do so i will shift this to the high priority so he'll finish it shift this back down to the medium and uh and then i can always tell the rail construction office to just build the other one later too all right we have heating plant production stopping is this because of power it is because of power take a look still having a hard time getting enough people to come into coal it's amazing to me how that's still a thing. It's got to be because of construction. That's the only thing I can think of. Got to be because of all the construction we're doing. I don't, I don't have very many buses, though. Like, I have, like, three. Two. I have two construction office buses. That's it. I've reduced myself down to two. All the other ones I've assigned to just pick up workers here. But there's no power supply, and it's just irritating. <laughs> it's so irritating. Uh, let's turn this back on and turn this back on. There we go. Just have power for a second, okay? And then when we get workers over here, we'll do it all over again. Silly game. All right. So let's talk about oil and stuff. Now, we have these pump jacks and stuff. We've seen this. It's all laid out there, right? We've seen that. I'll, let me just turn this back off again. 
export and export okay um so we got this uh those pump jacks over there we got all those little oil setups over there and everything but i haven't bothered to put the plans in because that's very expensive with steel all the pipes and stuff is really expensive with steel however we are going to have a research later on that's going to make this less expensive and easier to build build okay and that research is down metallurgy after fatigue of steel materials we're then going to be able to get steel cables this is going to give me my cable way and uh as you know the uh cable ways are life okay so we'll have cable ways that take it to the power plant i don't have to deal with this problem nonsense anymore we'll also have cable ways from i haven't decided where they're going to be i think it's going to be over here next to whatever we end up doing here and then the cable ways will take them up here so that they can ride this bus over to a cable way station which takes them up I haven't decided yet to be honest most likely I don't need that and I can just have these guys work in coal in which case I'll have the cable way start here and then it'll just come up to there that's probably how I'll do it just to have smooth uh you know workers at the coal mines and stuff and then once that's happening and we are mining a ton of coal we'll go ahead and get started on this power plant so we can export more power even even more power which would be great but anyway so the pressure pipes the pipe pressure thing uh right down here this thing i don't know exactly how long it's gonna let me do it we'll find out later but by the time we get the setup for oil and stuff built by the time that stuff is in place i would hope that we have that research done so let's see the setup fossil fuels the oil refinery is now available and we want this to be far away from people as possible so i mean within within reason um, I do have a need for some tanks and stuff, but within reason, I want this to be far away from people as possible. So I'm actually thinking about putting it on an angle here. It might work better that way. I actually may like it better this way. I think I will. I think we're going to set it to where it's right over here. And what will end up being, it, it just means more pipes for the oil. But I th again, I think it gets worth it afterwards. So we're going to put this... I think right about here should be good about like this I think okay so let's I held down the mouse but apparently now it can't do it so let's move a little bit hi can I have no it goes yellow but the when I click it to like level the ground it tells me no it's because of the underground pipe right there which is gonna get removed so yeah i might not have to be i may not be able to build this exactly where i want it until i move that pipe let's just see if i can put it here will that work no it doesn't let me level the ground over top of that pipe uh what about over like this if i do this and then slowly move it this direction can i get it yeah can i get you to start altering the land that's wonderful there you go that's what I'm looking for there we go now I can rotate this and now I can place it sometimes you just got to trick the game into giving you what you want okay so I want this to be right here I think yeah right here okay now that's gonna auto do a pipe to here for our fuel and that's okay because the fuel is going to come to here get pumped into this one and we're going to have these two fuel tanks and later on we'll have a third tank which will also be for exporting uh so we can sell the excess fuel so essentially once these two are full we'll bleed it over to this and allow it to sell it okay so how does this get oil well we're gonna have oil tanks over here so the first place we're gonna do an oil tank is right over here and we're going to flip this over and I'm going to place this as close to this bus stop as I can. So I'm thinking like right about here should work just fine. Then we're going to get a pipe pump or a pipe pump. Yeah, pipe pumping station. And we're going to put this right up next to it as close as we can for the auto pipe right there. Okay. And then uh, we'll just run that pipe. There we go. Dirt road. Where is it? Yep, dirt road there. And uh, actually, we want to. We're gonna make this asphalt before we do this because we don't need these built yet. So we might as well mark this as an asphalt road in the meantime. I like that idea. 
So let's go in and mark you as asphalt as well. And then that will force these guys to drive around, but uh, that's okay. You can take this road too if you want to. Uh, but we'll have this one made as an asphalt road as well, okay? This thing's barking at me about electricity again. I just can't believe it. I can't. It's I'm in disbelief, I say. Disbelief. <laughs> Seriously. Just 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 go to coal. Just go to the bus stop. You unspecified nonsense. They've decided they don't want to do it. Right? They're unable to visit the pub or tavern because there's no alcohol to sell. Excuse me? Maybe that's why we're at 79%. Although, that should be reducing their alcohol addiction, right? If I deprive them of it, then they can't have it. Um, why aren't you delivering it? Did I delete something I wasn't supposed to? You're loading alcohol from here. I must have deleted the wrong thing. Um, connections. You don't have a connection to the meeting. I deleted the wrong thing. This needs a meat connection, okay? We unload meat there. Thank you very much. And then uh, at the cargo station, we definitely load meat, yes. And then over here, you are already added. You're already added. Pub, unload, 70%. What gives? You're just not loading uh, the alcohol? You're just deciding not to go. I'm telling you to do it, but you're just, you're just saying no. Is that it? Okay. Well... Sorry, poor, those poor, poor people that don't have any alcohol. Unless I'm out. I am out. So I have to buy alcohol now? Gross. Uh, okay. Well, that's a little extra money for me. So we'll tell them to buy alcohol. That's what I told them to do. Maybe this is where I deleted the wrong thing. I bet it is. I bet this is where I deleted. Uh, it's not deleted. Where the heck is it? Is it... It's not this one. Not this one. It's got to be this one. But you have alcohol listed. So, you're being told to buy alcohol and unload it here, but you're just refusing to do so. Okay, well, I guess people will just wait. Because everything's set up and ready to go. Over here. All right, you got the pump. And then uh, we're going to go in for another storage like this. Right like this. That should be good to go. Go ahead and connect that. Okay. And then I was thinking about doing one more just to have a lot of oil reserve. I'm not sure if that's needed. I'm, I'm thinking like we're going to be intermittent in getting people to work here. So there's going to be a lot of time where there's nobody doing anything at all. And for that reason, we're probably going to end up having a lot of oil in reserve, right? We have a lot of oil being brought here. So it makes me think I want another another tank. I also need to reroute the underground pipe that's here, this, the tie lighting here. I need to route that over to somewhere else. And I was thinking I'd probably just route it into this pump so that it would go into multiple tanks. That's, that's where I was going with it anyway. So I'm thinking we're going to go one more. One more pump. Right about here. Right like this very close <laughs> i don't know why i'm being so precise but there we go because i don't have much space that's why and then this pipe actually this uh tank here actually doesn't have any space left because of the power poles so we're gonna have to go probably from this side yeah i'll probably have to go over like this yep so we'll say you can stop right here, I guess. You just don't let me build this here, do you? Come on now. Is this where we have to be? Is this what it's come to? I think it is. This is where it's come to. So it's going to be right here. All right, and then this pipe will go that way. Okay? So that gives us our oil set up. But we're not going to build all of this. All right, not, not all of this gets built. Instead, we're only gonna build the one. And you know what? Since we're in the mood to make asphalt roads here before we connect roads up other other places, I kind of feel like I want to keep going here. This, this intersection is really bonkers. <laughs> I need to do something about this intersection. And unfortunately, I can't make asphalt here without getting in the way of like other things. So 
I'm going to have to do something to reroute this. And I guess it's going to be here for now. Which is a little bit gross, but okay, fine. Um, we're going to take a disconnect you. Like that. Yep. Let's get rid of the walking path. And then we'll just have you go like this. Okay, get rid of the walking path. Yeah, we don't need that walking path anyway. Uh, so let's go in a, like that and like that. All right, so this gives me a bypass around the roundabout, if you will. And I think it'll allow me to do that a lot easier. But let's get that to be a high priority for construction crews mm -hmm. so they can get that first. Um, we don't, we're not going to want to block this. There's so, so much traffic. Probably the busiest intersection in my entire Republic is right here. So I got to be careful about upgrading this, which is why it's so patchy. Because I'm only upgrading it in like tiny chunks. But, you know, the nature of having this all planned out with two roads parallel means that I get to actually, you know, build this whole, build whole segments out sometimes. Let's get rid of this and this and this. And that can go, and all of this can go, and then I want you, from where you are here like this, to go up like that. I want you to connect there. Oh, but there is a power pole in my way. Of course there is. All right, we're just gonna take and go like this from you then. Uh, like that, almost. Come on now, good enough. And then you come in that way and good enough. I'm happy enough with it. Mark that as being an asphalt road for teams as well. Okay. Now with that, we're going to definitely have to buy more bitumen because we're going to run out. That's a lot of asphalt to do. So you spring back to life, do your job and start with delivering the 11 tons you already have for that tank. Okay. Um, uh, looking at my checklist here and making sure I get everything here. Uh, Oh, I need a water hookup for my oil refinery too. Okay, so we have a, we need a water hookup here. So we need, uh, you know, obviously water substations here. Uh, as far as the sewage tank goes, I think we're covered here, although I don't remember how. So I may not be covered here. But one thing I definitely am covered with uh, or can be covered with is water. So if I go with the water substation... Uh, we can probably find a nifty spot in here somewhere where the water can come in and I can also get the other building. Yeah, so I'm thinking like maybe we nestle it in like right in here. That's way out of the way. This is really out of the way, right? But if I go closer to the road, then I can get potentially cover water in any buildings I put here. And there will be buildings here. So I'm now thinking maybe I just put this as close to the road as I can. So that would be like here. And then... I'm bias it this direction just until that one's not covered anymore about there then i just don't want to be in the way of those pipes they'll be underground anyway yeah i'm not going to be in the way of the pipes all right we'll knock this right here and then we'll connect it with a walking path but before we do that i want to have this be asphalt as well big old whole big segments right let's do the do them in chunks okay so oil is going to come in here from over here we have all this oil that's there, and there's other sources of oil around too, and we'll eventually get it all kind of hooked into the same network. But it eventually will come in. We'll probably put a pump right here just so that we can hook in other sources into that pump. And then we'll have uh, it take the oil out from there, and uh, it's all going to pop it into this tank first. And I'm hoping... This tank. And I'm hoping that we can get that research, like I said, where the extra long pipes i don't exactly know how long they can be but if you're curious there's a limit to these pipes and it's about 330 meters if i remember correctly uh 333 35 38 337 338 that's as long as you can make these well that that pressurization research allows you to go much longer distances and i without needing another pump so that's what i'm hoping for okay so you're going to be able to get dropped off at this bus stop, which I'm going to say the bus stop is just going to curve in and come back over this way. But since we're going to have a lot of traffic coming through here with different people, right? Different people uh, coming in here with buses and everything. I thought maybe it would be a good idea to turn this into a two lane road in this direction. 
right so we could say for example do one of these numbers now i'd have to hook up like this first which is kind of creating a cross street that you don't necessarily want when you're building these types of things um but it might be okay i, I think the traffic will be low enough to where it will be fine so we're gonna go like this and i need to remove the rail first before i can make that road come up so we're gonna say that the rail temporarily we're gonna have this rail come from here back up like this then this road can connect uh there's a sewage thing right there which isn't the best yeah i wish that wasn't there well you know it's it's okay we'll just uh we'll come out a little bit from it okay so we'll kind of spread ourselves out maybe that's a good thing maybe putting ourselves out like this go f4 here it just keeps wanting to snap we'll go like this and then maybe we curve out this way could be a good thing for us i don't know this walking path needs to go though oh come on now there we go uh, and then you go like that that could be okay all right because then if they're coming out this way they'll just go that direction okay uh and then if you're going to the bus then you would have to come in from that side wouldn't you yeah uh maybe we'll just have two bus stops i want a train station here as well though yeah is it worth doing another road here i don't know if it's going to be that high of traffic my my logic behind this is that we're going to be picking up fuel but they, those fuel trucks are going to be coming down here too yeah i don't know like the capacity of this road i don't think it's necessary i'm gonna abandon that plan i don't think it's necessary um instead we'll just curve it around and, and and hook this up like that that'll be okay for now let's bring this rail back in connect that again this could just be a single lane road i think it'll be fine it, this, i mean sometimes you just don't know how busy a road will be until you build it and you see how people run on it until you see how all the vehicles and stuff move sometimes it takes that in order to really know but i i think again i'm, I'm providing a lot of you know one lane roads freeways etc there's going to be some one lane one lane roads and stuff here around certain places there's going to be a lot of that and i think that uh like for instance here i can make a bridge that goes from this point and and comes back over on this side so that if this intersection gets really busy we can just bypass it by saying anyone who's going straight through you get to just hop right over you know and we could do that with one lane roads which have a uh, 120 kilometer per hour speed limit which is great since these ones are only 110. no idea but that's how it is you're probably going to see a lot of uh creators maybe building roads to where it's like two one lanes next to each other instead of just the typical one road they're probably doing that for that extra 10 kilometers per hour i have ways that i'm going to implement that uh on this long stretch this enormously long stretch of straight road going all the way down my republic here i have ways i'm going to implement the one lane road but it's just not not soon uh there's no need for it yet okay it says construction stopped i'm going to pause really quick because we have new research done perfect um let's come over to here and pick a new one so what I want is prefab construction because again, it lets me create prefab panels and that's what I'm all about right now. So we're going to get that in there so that I can see what that setup is and make sure that these buildings will work here. And then once I can be sure they'll work here, I can start slowly constructing them. In the meantime, instead of having slow construction, we should have fast construction <laughs> by getting this hooked up to the road network. So we're going to do this. That'll hook up to the roads and let's make that a high priority construction for all of you you have a path i know you do no you don't you need this first don't you sure do let's get that on the yeah we'll, we'll do this first and then we'll do it maybe we don't need to do that honestly just temporarily we're going to do that i want this to start building we don't need to wait for road crews to start this so this is 301 tons of steel it's like 150,000 rubles so like i'm gonna have to borrow more money to build this but this is the answer to our financial problems right here because if you look at my budget, if you look at how much money I've spent, uh, we're April 24th, and my imports of resources, fuel is 8,000. All right? That's... I don't know why there's still coal imports going. I really have to figure out who the hell is doing that. 
I really have no idea who's doing that. Um, we are importing crops because we don't have nearly enough. You know, that's just the way it goes. So since we didn't have enough crops, we are plowing our fields and stuff now. That's fine. Um, but harvesting was a, a big deal. And I didn't actually increase the amount of crops that I can collect because I don't have distribution offices. That's what I'm working on over here. Is this close to done? Ugh. Come on, I want to start that. I really, really need to start that. Food is doing really well. Although we are out of crops over here. So it means we're dipping into our supply over here now, finally. And, uh, but we have tons of food. So we're, we're good, like, forever on food. I can, I can pull back on the number of workers that are working here. We'll go back down to 15, I think. That should open up more people getting off the bus to come into these other two places, which are much more important for my financials. Uh, we also are running out of chemicals in there. And you're just pulling directly from here. That's fine. Okay, so fabric's going in here, and we have 35 tons of clothes, which is fantastic. I'm going to have you go ahead and do your route again so that you can go ahead and bring more clothes. And, yeah, selling clothes is great. I want to start this, but I don't want to start this until I have a consistent, uh, consistently high number of people that are getting dropped off here. That's kind of essential before this can be done. And, come on, guys. Come on, guys, finish it. I think we need workers for this. Sometimes if your road segments are too short, then you need ro you need actual workers to come in and do it. Instead of the uh, the pavers and stuff. It could just be that the pavers are really busy too. Uh, we can't have workers do this though unless it's actually added to the list. So we'll go ahead and add it to the list. So that uh, if, if workers do need to be brought to this, then they can be. And then we can get that road done. And once that segment's done, we can then get this one done. And then I'll start doing these tiny little segments all the way around until this is all, until it's all asphalt. But it's, you see, it's a process to get asphalt roads. It's, uh, I mean, it's nice that we don't have to buy it anymore. But we're still buying the bitumen, so it's still expensive. Uh, let's get more containers of biological waste here. I don't, I'm not sure why I didn't do that before. Uh, oh, also, this building's going to need waste as well. Let's get rid of this. Uh, wait, can't do that. I need this vehicle to be have to have a different route. So you're going to remove this stop and you're going to instead add this as your stop. That's your new route. Okay. Now that this is out of the question, out of the equation, get rid of that. And I probably could go in and mark some of this stuff as asphalt too. But let's wait until they're done with the existing roads that they're working on already. Because they're almost done with this little stretch and they're almost done with this whole stretch all the way to here, which is great. Start doing that. And then like, honestly, this is the busiest roads right here are the busiest roads in my entire Republic after watching them and stuff. Um, so I need to get this done because it's very busy. This is very busy, right? It's all the construction people and, and where they're going for work. And then this segment's very busy too, because this is where they leave on the, uh, the bus. And I probably should get this paved, but I'm too scared. <laughs> I'm too scared to pave this because it's like, oh, well, all my buses shut down. So I'm going to have to say, okay, no bus work for a while. And uh, that's no good. I No, because this is a one-way street, right? You only come in this way. You leave this way. Um, I'm going to have to do it in chunks. But eventually, I will get to the point where I simply cannot have buses coming out of here. Which leads me to think maybe this is just destined to stay gravel forever. I mean, I don't think the buses are necessarily reaching their top speed anyway as they come out of here. So they probably are fine with a gravel road here. Uh, certainly could, could pave this, though, because we could always pave this little segment and the buses could go that way. And then out on the dirt, I guess. Probably should look to... Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's maybe just put a little bit here. Um, put two roads next to each other like that they're not they're not symmetrical though they're not, they're not mirrored or right next to each other or whatever you call it pinned whatever the heck it's called there it is they're not like that okay so let's make them like that we'll go like this and we'll go like this all right and then we could probably have this road connect over there another research just finished that is at the university headquarters beautiful i want you to get me this I need a distribution office, and I need it tomorrow. Can't do it today. I realize that. You're too slow. But I need it tomorrow, okay? What do you got? Prefabs over here. Okay, so they're still working on research. But we're starting to get research a lot faster than we used to be, and that's the important thing. 
So fuel, check. Oil tanks, uh, somewhat check. Let's get, let's get uh, some of this stuff. Mm. No, I want them to build this. The last, oh, the last thing we do need here then uh, for bitumen, right? We need a tank to store bitumen. And uh, I would like to have a tank pretty close by over here so that I'm able to export it if I want to sell it. I don't want to have to come all the way over here to get the source and then sell it. So I want the extra storage for bitumen to be kind of somewhat close by. So I think I'll put it, um, I think I'll put it over here. About like this would be acceptable. Yeah, this would be fine. Uh, so if we put this here, and you know, I, maybe I could do myself a favor here probably and just go a little bit closer to this thing. So, okay. Let's put it right over... I'll just stick it right here, whatever. That tank here is going to store bitumen. All right, so we're going to want that done pretty soon too. Let's just go ahead and have that built. And can I have it? Can I have it? Can I have it? No, come on, please. Pretty, pretty, please. Thank you. <laughs> Let's get that done too. And then also the pipe needs to be there. Okay. Once this is complete, the whole setup is ready. Other than the fact that we don't have any buses to bring people. We don't have hardly any people to bring. All of those things are happening. I think what I'll most likely do is just give us give ourselves a little bit of a break on food for a while since we have so much in storage ready to rock i mean we have well over 300 tons of food of food uh in addition to the 57 58 going on 60 almost 60 tons that are in here plus the 50 the 21 tons that are in here we got a lot of those resources so we could probably take a break on food for a while maybe even go down to like five workers here just to kind of maintain status quo sort of thing and uh, with that happening, we should have, again, like the bare minimum of food, but also reserve the workers to be working in other places so that we could, maybe, say, for example, send them up here, right? Okay. And this entire time I've been playing, you might notice, maybe if you're paying attention, you might notice that the money's going up, right? We're not losing money. We're gaining it. 56000 we had a positive 56k balance last month. Now, if you factor in, though, that we had to pay off our loan a little bit, right? We paid 39,498 off of our loan balance and paid 10,216 of interest, all right? For a grand total of a plus sum here, okay, of $6,454. So if we let it run and we don't buy steel, we don't buy other things, which I have to do anyway. But if I don't let it, if I don't do it, then, oh yeah, we're definitely good to go, right? I think it's really just, we don't buy steel. And uh, getting this up is, that's it. That's when everything is going to work for us. That's exactly when everything flows as it should, okay? Now, I think this thing is kind of over-connected, right? It's, it's mostly a connections issue. I don't see a problem with the heat in the winter or anything. Nobody, nobody... Uh, had a problem with that. So I think uh, I want to get another heater in here, but I, I don't want to do it. Well, I simply cannot get these guys. I guess this is how I want to word it. If anyone knows how to do this, please let me know. Is there any way that I can tell citizens to get their heat, to get the you know houses and stuff, to get their heat from a specific source only? Which is what I think they're doing, but I can't tell, right? Because I have higher priority checked here, and it's at 54%. So that tells me that's probably why these guys are not, uh, you know, freezing to death in the, in the winter. Oh, boy. Okay, I was going to say, I, I thought maybe perhaps we weren't actually going to put that fire out, but it looks like we are. Yeah, that's going to happen. Okay, good. Uh... So if, if there's a way for me to maybe get this to show me accurate information, right? Because I think I'm pretty sure, right, that this is, you know, too many connections. But if it's not a problem, I'd like I'd love to know that it's not a problem. I think that's I think it's not a problem since nobody froze to death. But I just don't know. We have 400 workers now with higher education. 400 should be 4,000. 
Just what we're gonna have soon if I don't get houses up. I may need to, I may need to buy build more houses. One other thing that's happening also is we're losing loyalty pretty fast. Um, we have 90% on health, which is fantastic, but 75% on happiness because loyalty is way too low. We're gonna keep getting these warnings that loyalty are too low. As long as we can keep them healthy um, and happy in other ways, I think this won't necessarily be a problem to have loyalty this low, but we obviously want it to be much, much higher. Um, so to help with this, it's not gonna cure it. We still need the radio to really cure it. Um, we're gonna start placing some additional monuments around, okay? So I'm gonna say that we have a monument that is gonna be maybe like right here. So this little monument can go there, right? And then we'll just get a quick little dirt path there and get you hooked up to the tasks at hand. Uh, we can come over to, you know, more of these. This is a four and a half percent in a 90 meter radius. So kind of need more of these guys. I think probably sticking this over near the houses would be a good idea. So if it fits right here, perfect. I think this is good. We'll put it there and uh, stick that monument right there. So again, just more propaganda, more stuff that's gonna hopefully help with raising the minimum loyalty, raising how how low it's allowed to fall, basically. I still don't understand why there's no alcohol being delivered here. That's strange to me. So to help with that, I'm gonna take and say that this is just too busy doing other things. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I'm going to try. I'm going to buy a truck. Give me a covered haul truck. Uh, this one's eight years old. <laughs> um, we're getting older cars now. That's cool. Um, and they're very cheap. I guess I do like that part, but uh, no, I think I think not. I think just I, I just don't have. Hey, well, we can just we can just fix it up, right? Eight years old. I'm gonna fix this up. Let's put it, make it green. All right, we'll fix it up. We'll take this uh, new truck we got here. We're gonna bring it all the way over to where our stuff gets fixed, okay? Pop it into there. And then hopefully that helps us. Send my clothing, clothing truck out again. This bus, just to keep, am I still importing power right now? No, I'm exporting. Yep, we're exporting. Okay, never mind. Um, but just to really keep them going and making sure that everyone goes to coal, I probably should stick this bus, the spare bus that's at zero now. It's been fixed up. I could probably stick that on the coal line, the, the line that takes people to the coal. So it would be this coal drop-off line right here. There's three buses on this. I should make this four just to help this along. So I'm going to put this bus on that line as well and tell you to go and you're again spaced out now of course proper spacing out of lines proper spacing out of lines requires an end station for buses i've been trying to figure out exactly where i want this to be because we have a lot of uh you know i have a lot of routes and stuff and uh i, I kind of wanted just one station to rule them all well i'm gonna place it over here so in the depots section of the road vehicles tool menu you can see these bus, bus end stations, and there's really a very small difference in resource commitment between the small and large. So you might as well just go large. And uh, there's a, a dedicated in and an out. So this, the buses will all flow in one direction here. Um, so I've been kind of trying to figure out where I want it to be. And I've settled on kind of nestling it right in here. because I think it's somewhat centrally located in that they can come out and they can go where they need to go. Uh, to, which is that bus station or that bus station, etc. And uh, I don't think it'll be too big of an issue. If I place it on this side, it might work better too. Uh, the other idea I had, and maybe I'll go with this instead, is to place it here. And that way the buses come in on this side, and when they leave, they enter the roundabout, which means they can leave whichever way they want. But when they enter the roundabout on their leaving, they could potentially also decide to go to that fuel station, which is now done. I need to go and get... Uh, I need to go get gas, but if they can, if they need to go get fuel, it's a one-way stop, and then they just keep going, right? So I think this is ultimately where I where I'm gonna decide to do it. I've been trying to figure it out, but I think this is it. So I'm gonna place this bus end station. I think right about here should be okay, and uh, we'll make this an asphalt road that brings buses in from. Hmm. 
You know, I actually have a different idea. I got a different idea. I, I, it's the same idea, but it's gonna, we're going to use different roads, okay? I, I'd like to take this opportunity, I think, to use the one-way streets. Let's see how this works. I'm going to use the one-way street here. So what we'll do is I'm going to go about here with this bus station, okay? Hopefully it doesn't get too far into, into the way of these pipes. We'll see. Um, and then we're going to use the one-way roads. And how we'll do this is I'll have an asphalt section that comes out here. Like this, okay? Asphalt section like that. And then I'll take the one-way street just to see how it looks. I'm going to go this way with you and this way with you. Yeah. So that gets me... Uh, essentially, cars will come in on this, the right side of this road and they'll head this direction with one, with one road, right? And then they also come around this side and are going to exit on this side of the road. And the whole time I did that, I didn't add any additional nodes to the roundabout. See how that works. I don't know. Maybe that's a little weird, but I'm going to see how that works. And then if they do want fuel, we could also have this road split here. To have them come over to the fuel. So they didn't even have to get into the roundabout at all if, if they don't want to. Right? They could just come out this way if they need fuel. So something like that also could be possible. But I'll wait on that because that's going to add a node. And I still want to pave this with asphalt too. I need to pave this whole thing with asphalt as well. So those are plans. This is a bus end, end station. I don't know how that looks. It probably looks pretty bad. But I don't really have a plan for this area beyond this. So we're just going to do it and see what happens. But to properly space out your bus routes, uh, it's a really good idea to have an end station to do that. Uh, because what happens is the buses are just going to try to line themselves up, but they don't necessarily do it very well. But if they have an end station as part of their route, then they will wait the, the required amount of time to leave. And, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. They will wait to leave, which means we could repair these guys. Oh, now that's an idea. We could put the end station right near a repair garage instead. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hang on, hang on. This might look cleaner. You know? I know we already delivered some resources to these things. But I don't need this many technical service offices here. So I'm going to clear that and the waste that comes with it. All right. Let's get that assigned and get this taken care of. Okay. I'm going to clear this and put my end station over here. Now that's not as close to the gas station, but they can still leave and they can still get out. And then this is a low traffic road, right? So they'll come through here and then they can whip in to get the gas that they need to. And then out they go. Uh, but the advantage to this is that every time a bus stops here to wait out, like on a timer, they could be getting repaired while they're waiting. Even that little short period of time might be enough because this is covered directly by this repair shop. It means that they don't have to actually go to the bus to, to fix it, right? They're just going to fix it in place where they are. So you might have constant fixing of buses while that end station is happening. That's interesting. I'm going to, I'm going to, I want to explore that possibility. Um, and then... We're running out of oil. That's pretty common for middle of the year. Although it's happening much sooner this time than I expected. Probably because of the power outages. Power outages affect our pumping rate, right? So with all those power outages, we're not, we don't have as much, uh, as much stuff pumped. So there's 148 tons of steel left in here. And we haven't delivered any of it. Because this is the end, the, the final stage of construction on this building is the steel. What a drag. All right, so I don't know about next video having this done. It's probably gonna take several videos for this to really complete. And even then it's probably gonna take, you know, several videos longer for us to actually get enough people to work it. But I'm hoping that, uh, I'm hoping that this building fits, prefab panels construction. I'm hoping that that building fits. We have the conveyor done now for this. So it's going to start filling up this with gravel too. And so with that, I can pump the number of workers in here to 12. 
allow more workers in here fill up these storages with as much gravel as we can uh, and get ourselves ready to go for working with cement okay so thank you so much for watching i very much appreciate you i hope you guys will have a wonderful day i hope you'll hit the like button and subscribe and do all the wonderful things that you guys have been so helpful in doing i appreciate it we'll see you next time Bye bye